Hey, what's up? Mark King here, and here's a, uh, a story from InfoWars by Paul Just Watson, and it's um, UN Human Rights Chief demands US take serious action to stop killing of unarmed African Americans. Again, these people are flipping evil, right? These people here, they'll misconstrue the facts. Again, don't think it's ignorance, right? People have this idea that it's ignorance, it's not ignorance. You know, these people are intentionally um, saying these things to push a certain ideology, okay? One of the things that's very dangerous is group voting. Like, you see this a lot, again, with women in certain ethnic groups. They just always will vote for where the communists are. Okay? They're more easily susceptible to communist I ideas and ideology, right? That's my big belief system into, like, why they constantly push these things, these false narratives. All right? Again, l look at the um, other, how do I say this, sub-Saharan country, sub countries, right? If you d if the cops aren't equipped, they aren't enough, they get taken over, okay? It's just true. This is the nature of things, you know? Anyway. The UN Human Rights Chief has demanded that authorities in the U.S. take serious action to stop killing killings of unarmed again these people like wh wh where is this um rhetoric when black people are just murdering everybody you know Mur murdering whites murdering uh asians murdering indians murdering uh latinos you know wh where is this rhetoric you know this this is how you kind of like um kind of when you see a lot of hypocrisy know that it's not it's intentional, okay? Especially from higher people, okay? If it's lower people, they may not have the critical thinking skills to understand it. But if it's higher end people, yeah, you, you kind of see a pattern and know it's probably intentional. They're pushing something, right? Why are they pushing? Um, probably the disarmament, if I'm correct. I mean, 46 year old Floyd died in 25, right? Okay, it's bad. But again, people, again, I see this a lot from the right and the left. Okay, so the left, they're always going to pick that side. But a lot of times, you see the right, they so badly also want to believe in the victim narrative Kool Aid that they immediately jump on the same side as the left. It's embarrassing, you know? And like, again, a lot of people I respect, like, you know, like uh, I keep saying, like Ben Shapiro and um, the Daily Wires, like, they constantly do it. Constantly. You know, I mean, you you have to wait to see. And at least right now, the, the initial reports are, you know, he had a bunch of drugs in the system, and that actually was the pro probably the reason. But you know, when we see more information, uh, we'll see how it goes. But again, my my big concern is eventually the media and and the politicians and the courts eventually uh, how do I say this indict someone um, convict someone who probably does not deserve it to appease the crowds and again the crowds they have communist intentions okay they're communists they're Antifa okay and there's some strange things that happen here right so you see a lot of these these women all of a sudden decide um, supporting men when it's convenient like because a black men are rioting, oops, uh, urban men are rioting. Obviously, they see women coming to the defense of men, particularly black men, but still men in general. Again, these groups they never want to clash with each other. Okay, you never, you never see them clashing. They all despise each other. Okay, black men this this uh, despise uh, the the woman, the white woman especially, for what they've done to. The black community, you know, they they've they've, they've snuffed out the black man's power and authority, you know, through feminism. You know, white women kind of hate black men because of the crimes, the crime rates, the rapes, the the killings, you know. You know, black men seen the the white women as very privileged, and it's true they're the most privileged uh, gendered race of people to ever exist on the face of the earth. Just look at the stats. Just just look at the wealth. Look at um, look at the education. Look at everything. You know they probably the most privileged ever existed. You know, 
Anyway, so United Nations uh, Michelle Banchlet issued a statement today calling for immediate action. The U.S. authorities must take serious action to stop such killings. Again, where is this rhetoric when the opposite happens? Procedures must change, but statistically, it, 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 you're wrong. Our prevention systems must be put in place. Again, you know, again, what are you supposed to do? Sp supposed to, okay, so what they want, the government to have every single um, medical condition of every single person, and that's probably what they really want. You know, these these UN folks want the government to have more autonomy of your life. You know every little detail, okay? And the people on the left will gladly give it up, but then um, they'll wonder why they're going to be oppressed because you push for these things. Again, it seems like people who cannot take responsibility align themselves with the left, right? That's why you see a lot of uh, uh, females there. A lot of urban urban males there, people who have no idea what um, responsibility is. I see these things. Uh, people again, if if you're ever in the education system, you see the vast differences, and it's absolutely amazing. You know, but but nobody wants to actually talk about because they're all afraid of being outed for being <laughs> honest and truthful, including me. <laughs> uh, anyway. But her words uh, will be welcome and many left, of course, assert that the black thing are being indiscriminately targeted. Again, they're not. Commit more crimes. However, Kansas Owen points out that stats don't back up a claim. Percentage of people killed by police officers annually. 55% uh, whites, 27% blacks, 19% Hispanic. Can anyone provide me the name of one Hispanic or white person? <laughs> Again, the, 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 the use of racial... Um, Racial ideology that split and divide nation to um, to do divisions. Okay, so that's why they do race and sex and fifty thousand genders because they want to divide people into groups so people can't come together. Okay, this is why they do these things. Okay, when you see people do these things here, they're evil. Okay, this is not a good person. This is either a really stupid person or somebody really bright. She strikes me as honestly really stupid. Okay. Right, when people don't earn things and put in and put in positions, they tend to be uh, stupid. Okay, now right. she slept around a lot to get her uh, her get her position. Okay, just know that. Okay, this is not a good person. The left will probably choose a bad for our vice president. <laughs> okay, is that okay? My voice is being silenced by free speech. Okay, now this is just uh, nothing here. Anyway, so this is a really short article by Infowars, but something I want to touch upon. Again, know what they're going to push. Know who's pushing it. Know where it's coming from, so you can better understand um, how to fight it. Essentially, okay. Okay, it's a short article. Uh, may not uh, be life-altering, but it's something that's to take note to see what agenda will be pushed again and by who. Okay. All right. Keep this brief. Share, save, subscribe, thumbs up. Hope you enjoy some interesting yada yada yada. Bye. Take care.